really soon cooking with booze. Or should I say, buona notte. Tonight we are making eggplant parm. It's Chef Christian's grandpa's recipe. I'm super excited because when it gets cold outside, I always like to warm up with some Italian food. It's definitely my favorite food. So Christian actually made this recipe via Zoom with his grandpa. That's how we've been connecting with our loved ones who we can't actually physically see, which was super fun. And now that we tried the recipe once, we are hooked. We've made it for people who have come to visit. We make it all the time just when we're craving something comforting and just filling. And then the best thing is the next day you make eggplant parm sandwiches on some big bread. It's just carbs on carbs, people. I'm telling you, it's amazing. So let's get into this recipe. Thanks so much, Christian's grandpa, papa, shout out, and let's get cooking. Like all great recipes, this recipe starts with onion and garlic, basically to doctor up our pasta sauce. So we're gonna mince up this onion and mince up this garlic, saute it for a little bit, then add in our sauce. So let's get to chopping. chopping we're gonna hit these into the pan then I have some olive oil heating up in medium-high heat we're gonna saute these until they're slightly cooked and then we'll add in our sauce let's add in our onion and garlic Ooh. sizzle love that <coughs> stir that around I'm guessing like a minute or two I did not cut some of these onions well <laughs> After about two minutes, we're looking translucent and slightly cooked, and they don't have to be cooked all the way through because we're going to cook them in the sauce while we're preparing everything else, so it's just going to get nice and flavorful. I add in two jars of your favorite pasta sauce, and if you're recording it, make sure to pre-open the bottle so you don't embarrass yourself. There's one, two, and then this is just going to simmer in the background, so we're good with that. Easy peasy. Start of the show, eggplant. So we're actually gonna peel this eggplant because that's what Christian Grandpa does. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna peel it using a knife. You could use a peeler. Um, we didn't find that to be very successful. <laughs> and it took forever. So we're gonna peel them, slice them up, and then throw them on the paper towel to absorb any excess moisture. to get a nice little simmer. So we'll, we'll wait another minute. Alright, what we have here is a standard breading procedure. And we wipe down the eggplant, put it in the egg, flip it over, get the excess off, shake, shake, shake. Flour, unseasoned flour, shockingly enough. There's a lot of seasoning in the sauce and the cheese, and you'd be surprised how flavorful it is. I definitely was. Get the excess off. Pat, pat, pat. Alright. Nice. A light sizzle. Hey! When, yeah, while this is going, you're going to want to preheat your oven to 350. Oh, I'm making a mess. Well as to be expected. All right, and you don't want to overcrowd your pan because you want to make sure that they're nice and crispy and they're not going to boil. So let's let them crispify, baby. You can start to see the crispy. 
crispy bits forming. That's when you flip. Ooh, yeah. And then once your pan is hot, it's going to be hot. So you got to keep an eye on it. Oh, yeah. That is what we are looking for. Let them crispify on the other side. Ding, ding, ding. This is what we are looking for, y'all. Nice, crispy eggplant. Now we're going to layer it up with some ricotta and mozzarella in our pan. Let's do it. Hey! We've all been waiting for the assembly. We start with a layer of sauce on the bottom. Nice thin layer. Spread it out. We have plenty of sauce, so... And you have any leftover, you can just throw it in the... Uh, throw it back in your fridge. Oh, let's give me a nice sauce facial. Mm -hmm. Alright, next up, eggplant. Try to get eggplants that are about the same size for the layering purposes. We want some bigger pieces for the bottom as our base layer. Well, vertical, you want them the same size. Yes. You got a small piece over there, a small piece over here. Alright, and this is where it gets really creamy and decadent. We'll smush a spoonful of ricotta on each one. Oh my gosh, this is what makes it really over the top. And I was like, when we were going over this recipe, I was like, oh, this is pretty unique. I haven't really seen this before. All right, then you go back to sauce, more sauce. A little bit of sauce on top of one. Mm -hmm. Each one. I definitely like it saucy. You have to with this recipe. Mm -hmm. Saucy. All right, more eggplant. The hardest part about the fresh mozzarella is not eating it before you put it on here. Why? It's just so good. What? <laughs> it's just a huge chunk of mozzarella. What? <laughs> you laugh at me? I'm laughing at the idea of it. I'm gonna eat some more. Mm. Ta da! <laughs> Alright, we are ready for the oven. 350 for about 45 minutes. It's going to be after 20 minutes covered, 25 minutes uncovered, we have this gorgeous gooey saucy situation. I'm so excited to dig in. Let's get it. All right, let's plate this up. Try to get one stack. It's gonna be a little messy. Oh yeah, look at that cheese bowl. Is that in there? <laughs> Lots of cheesy goodness, y'all. I think I missed like half a stack. That's okay. Nobody's perfect. Beautiful. All right, let's get a bite. All right, y'all. Moment of truth. The taste test. Make sure to make sure it cools off a lot. It's still steaming, as you can see. Mmm. So you get the acidity from the tomatoes, creaminess of the cheese. It's just a perfect balance. It'll make you feeling like you want to take a nap. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go devour the rest of this. Make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button to cook with booze. Booze out. <laughs>